Are you ready to get productive with OneNote? For you to get started and get productive with OneNote, you're going to need to understand the filing system first. Up here in the top left corner of OneNote, you'll see a notebook name. It might be called My Notebook, or Personal, or it might have your name on it. Now you'll probably only have one notebook there, but you can create more notebooks, and you can switch between the different notebooks that are available. Think of a notebook like a ring binder. In that ring binder, you might put paper tabs to separate different pages. At the top of OneNote, you'll see the equivalent here. We call them sections. You can create a new section by clicking on this plus icon here. And on the right hand side, you have pages. You can have an unlimited number of pages just by clicking on add page over on the right hand side. I see a lot of people just starting out with OneNote and they're unsure about this filing system. So they often click on plus up the top here to get a new section every time they want a new page. And they end up with 50 sections in each notebook or with one page in them each. As you can imagine, that's just not productive. The other interesting thing about OneNote, and one of the reasons that it's so good for working on content, creating new content and sharing with your team, is that there's no save button. If you have a look up in the top left corner on the home menu, you'll notice that there's no save button there. OneNote automatically and instantly saves your work as you go. If you've ever had the experience of working on a Word document for three hours only to lose your work, you'll appreciate the value of having OneNote automatically save your work for you. In fact, OneNote saves in advance. So when we want to create a new notebook, we're effectively telling OneNote, hey, this is where I want you to save everything. And it takes care of that for us. One of the great things about OneNote is it takes a lot of the cognitive load out of using your computer. The other thing that you'll notice is if you scroll down this page, you'll notice that the pages in OneNote are not A4 sheets of paper. This is a continuous digital space and it will go on and on as far as you need it to. In fact, in a way, it's kind of like an Excel spreadsheet. You can go up and down, but you can also go out to the side. So if you've ever spent time in Word worrying about page breaks and trying to format your content to fit nicely onto a page, that's no longer a barrier for you when you use OneNote. The page area of OneNote here, we call it the canvas, supports many different types of content. For example, pictures, videos, typed text, and even writing with your pen. If you have a device with an active pen, you'll find that in OneNote, the pen will always draw. So if you wanna click on a link, you'll need to either use your mouse or your fingertip with touch to click on a link. But the beauty of that is that OneNote's always ready to capture your ideas and your handwritten notes with the pen. 